Hi, in this video, I'm going to share my screen and show you how we can come up with the CSS code that is required to make an element sticky or fixed as it comes into the view and um, keep it remain fixed and not overlap on the elements that are below it, like the footer or footer widgets. So first I'm going to show you how, uh, what we're trying to achieve. Uh, this is the Genesis sample child theme. And I have several widgets in the sidebar, in the primary sidebar. So I have added the code before. Now it's not there anymore, but it's the web page is still showing having the code. So I have targeted the last widget in the primary sidebar and it is going to remain sticky as we scroll to it. So now I'm going to, I'm scrolling down and this recent post widget, notice this, it's going to remain in the view and continues to do so. And when we touch the footer widgets, it's going to remain, uh, it's going to become static again. And we can use this method to make um, just any widget or any element sticky, not necessarily the last widget. So if we want, we can also make this social icons uh, widget as sticky. So now I don't have the CSS code in the uh, style CSS. So I'm going to reload this and take this back to how it originally is. So it just scrolls with the rest of the page. So what we need to do is to um, set the position of this element to sticky in CSS. It's just as simple as that, but th at least theoretically, let's see how it works. So here I'm editing the uh, child theme style sheet and I'm going to go to the media queries. And above the media queries, I'm just going to add a comment. And since I want to target the last widget in the side primary sidebar, I could do something like this. So sidebar primary inside that the widget, which is the last child. And I'm going to say position sticky. Now, when we um, set this position as sticky, we need to set one of the four parameters, top or bottom or left or right. So in this case, I want this element to be sticky from the top of the browser. So I'm going to say top zero. So now when I come here and reload, as I scroll down, uh, it's not working. And the reason for that is that this, this sidebar primary element, it does not have any height specified. So to fix the problem, we have two alternatives. The first is to set a fixed height to the sidebar or the primary sidebar, but that's not recommended. So the recommended method is to uh, make the height of this side primary sidebar the same as that of the, the content using Flexbox. So if I observe this site in a, it has the content sidebar wrap div. Inside that is this content and the sidebar. So I'm going to grab this class and set it to display flex. So what this does automatically is that it automatically makes the height of the children, both these elements in this case, uh, to be equal and equal to whichever is the tallest. So if I reload this, and by the way, immediately you can see that it is working as I scroll down, uh, the recent post widget is remaining in the view, but uh, the layout looks messed up. Uh, the the vertical gap that's between the content and the sidebar is not present anymore and they just seems to be like collapsed. So what we can do is 
make this content appear on the left and the sidebar to the right so the gap in between will be visible so to, to, to move the children far apart we can add a property to the parent which is the flex parent and that is justify content space between now when I come here and reload so we got that nice gap between the content and the sidebar and as I scroll down you can see that um, this widget remains in view now <clears throat> I would like to have some gap or space about the recent posts widget when it becomes fixed um, so ideally that should be the same gap as what we see currently here which is 40 pixels uh, if you're not sure you can just inspect that space and you can go to computer tab and you can see that the padding is 40 so that gap is 40 pixels so I'm gonna go back to the CSS and set this top to 40 pixels okay so that that's better but definitely that space is not 40 pixels it is 40 pixels from the top of the browser but then we have the uh, admin bar which is also fixed and that has a 32 pixels height so what we could do is we could add a CSS rule that says that if the admin bar is present in that case you add the height of the admin bar to the desired height which is 40 and increase it so we could say admin bar and then this selector so in that case it's 40 plus 32 which is 72 pixels <clears throat> so now when I scroll down it's perfect I liked that's good now let's see how this behaves responsively so if I go bring up the device toolbar and then I go about 1024 then we still have the content and the sidebar appearing in columns and at 1023 things look look messy uh, if you take a look at the demo of this theme at I forgot the URL I think it's uh, genesisframework.com you can see that at 1023 pixels and below the sidebar is going to appear beneath the content so we need to adjust the CSS that we wrote uh, such that uh, it only becomes effect it, it only takes effect from 1024 and above and the way that that can be done is using a media query so I'm gonna come back here and write a media query with a minimum width of 1024 and then put this entire thing inside that like so so this CSS now is gonna work only from 1024 pixels and above all right so now if I reload so there is the content and here is the sidebar now if I go to 1024 we have the sidebar appearing at the right and as I scroll down the last widget uh, remains sticky okay so uh, one a few other things that we could uh, improve is to uh, make this add the vendor prefixes so that this works for other browsers as well I'm going to share this code in a tutorial or a blog post so you can uh, copy and paste so we have that oh and this position sticky has a um, prefix version prefixed version in Safari so I think it's webkit sticky I'll just quickly check yeah it is okay so now let's go back and try to make the social icons widget sticky instead of the last widget so we could do this by and for this we need to have a unique ID or a class for this 
uh, element so I'm going to inspect that and grab its ID which is the simple social icons too and then so just put that um, CSS selective for that element like that so now when I go up and reload as I scroll down the social icons widget should remain sticky it, it is it does and it co continues to remain in view and yeah there you go okay I hope you found this helpful bye for now